How important is it to give the paint a good stir before you start? Should I get a broomstick or a stick off uh, the, out of the yard and give it a quick stir? Broomstick actually does nothing for it. They tend to be round, so their actual their method of agitation is minimal. It actually is uh, doesn't work well. So we use things like paddles and you know a, a good flat stirrer where you can actually mix to the bottom of the product. If a product has been sitting around for a long time, sometimes you do get an amount of settlement that'll go down and if you get a broom handle and try and stir it, it won't pick it up from the bottom. So you need that flat stirrer to be able to dig to the bottom of the can and stir it up. It's always important to, if the can's been sitting around for a while, just to stir it through the, for the consistency. There will always be a little bit of settlement or something like that on the top and if you don't mix that in, if you just pour it off the top, then you're pouring off the goodness out of the can, so to speak. So, Could you end up getting patches if you're using colours, for example? Would pigment settle and would you get clumps? And, yeah, and... I mean, it's an important process from the store's perspective that once they add a colourant to the, to the paint, that it is stirred immediately because you want that consistency through it. If they don't stir it, it can actually settle to the bottom of the can and when the homeowner gets home and tries to stir it and doesn't stir it right through. Uh, we always laugh and joke about stripe your paint and things like that, but they're similar to the sort of effects that can occur if your colourant isn't mixed properly. So buy a proper stirrer and give it a good stir. Yes, correct. Each and every time. Each and every time.